Hola, buenos dias and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived in this town for over two decades now and I love to share news, information and interesting items about the resort to all you Benny lovers out there. So let's get started. Today I'm taking you for a look around the four-star hotel Agua Azul, meaning blue water, which is located on Avenida Emilia Otoño on the cusp of the old town, not far from the town hall and the Aguera Park. Part of the Sun Comfort Group, who also own the Bolomar by the Dove Park in Benidorm and also the Albir Garden Resort in the neighbouring town of Albir, this quality hotel has an air of calm and a simple modern style about it and is recommended for adults only. Built in 1972 and renovated in 2016, it has 145 rooms over its six floors, which are comprised of 132 doubles and 13 singles and offer free Wi-Fi throughout. Rooms are bright and spacious with white and red accents and skyline photos of Benidorm cover the walls above the beds. You can choose from a single room which has a maximum capacity of one person and a double bed or double rooms which come with either a pool view or park view depending on which option you pick. Alternatively you can upgrade to a double superior which offers more space. Each room has a satellite flat screen TV, desk, safe, fridge and telephone and a bathroom in the room which is separated from the main area by a glass partition and is frosted for privacy. If you book direct with a hotel, you'll get added advantages such as being able to pay on arrival as well as free late checkout and a 50% discount on parking. Otherwise, late checkout until 5pm is upon request and costs €33 Euros, and early check-in from 10am will cost you a fee of €28. Euros. Upon entering the hotel via its wide walkway where you can take a look over to the pool, you are met with automatic glass doors which take you through to the lobby area. In front of you is the modern reception where you check in and out and lime and blue sofas are dotted around should you wish to sit down for a moment. White columns surrounded by padded bench seating tie in with a comfortable but stylish theme and in this area you can also find the TUI Holiday Representatives Information Desk and a Jet2 Information Board. To the right there is a passageway leading off to the first floor accommodation with two lifts available to take you up to the higher floors. Heading downstairs via the lift or the staircase, here is where you can find the Awa Athol Lounge along with the restaurant and swimming pool area. Here you can find the blue and white colour palette repeated from the lobby and directly in front of you is the lounge and pool bar. Staffed by friendly workers in smart hotel uniform, here you can grab yourself a coffee, slush or soft drink or a beer or spirit and relax in the interior lounge area to your right which has a multitude of tables and grey tub chairs. At the far end of this zone there is a stage where the animation team put on shows and entertainment and you can also find the Jet2 holiday reps desk in this area and a small amount of second hand books to borrow. The toilets are in the far corner as well as the entertainment's board with the animation schedule on it and on the day I filmed this was in the form of a saxonet and clarinet player at midday. You can also find the prices displayed for the restaurant here if you're not a guest at the hotel but fancy joining someone who is or just want to treat yourself to a meal out. The long modern restaurant is buffet style and is smartly set out with tables laid with black placemats, cutlery and water glasses. Breakfast is served here from 8am until 10.30 with a lunch service from 1 to 3pm and dinner between 7 and 9.30 in the evening. You can choose from a board basis of anything from simple B&B right up to all inclusive but with the mouth watering array of food I saw I would definitely opt for at least half board. There is a variety of hot and cold dishes available covering local delicacies as well as international dishes. For breakfast you can order British bacon cooked to your liking as well as eggs and omelettes. At other meal times there is a good bread selection along with a salad bar and all the hot dishes are labelled to tell you exactly what they are in both Spanish and English. 
There is a dessert and pastry section to finish the meal. And by the way, if you are a non-resident, breakfast costs 12 euros per person and either lunch or dinner comes in at 18 euros per customer. Moving outside, we find the swimming pool and solarium area. Flanked by pale grey metal sun lounges and cream parasols, the beds are tagged here and there to warn you that if you leave your towels down for too long to reserve your bed and then don't return within a reasonable period of time, then your items will be removed to reception for you to collect at a later date. The kidney-shaped pool is open from 10am until 8pm and the whole area is surrounded by palm trees for a bit of natural colour and of course shade, with other seating available for if you just wish to bring a drink outside from the lounge bar, which also has a serving area facing the exterior. Water Zumba is hosted here five days a week by the hotel staff for those of an energetic nature. Walking around the pool you can find four showers and along the back wall there are three white cabana huts where you can relax and chill out for a while whilst listening to the piped background music. In the corner of the pool area you can find the pizza bakery snack bar which is open from 11am to 7pm and there are high top tables and stools in front of the kiosk where you can enjoy your snacks. Heading up a series of steps you can find an upstairs solarium area with a small amount of sunbeds and a faux grass floor and this zone provides a more chilled out experience for those who really want to soak up those rays. You also get a great view from here of the whole hotel grounds as you will see on today's footage. There is also a second solarium area which you can find just to the left of the hotel entrance which overlooks the other nearby hotels and over to the Parque de la Guerra and here you can sunbathe in peace whilst enjoying the relaxing sounds of the water feature at the end wall. If you need to use a mobility scooter whilst on your holidays here in Benidorm, then there is a parking and charging area just outside reception. Be aware however that personal mobility vehicles are not allowed inside the hotel itself, as is usually the case nowadays. If you are looking to book a package holiday, then Jet2, First Choice and TUI offer this service to the hotel, as well as the usual online booking sites. The Awa Athul is currently ranked an impressive 9th out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and is rated 4.5 out of 5, putting it in the excellent category. Positive comments mention the friendly, polite and helpful staff who are a credit to the hotel and this goes all the way through from the cleaners to the chefs as well as the front of house staff. Rooms are deemed to be spacious with comfy beds and the restaurant is praised for its varied food choices. In fact, it's often described as a little gem with reviewers stating that they will be back again soon if they aren't repeat guests already. Of the few negative remarks, it was mentioned that there's not a lot to do in the bar at night time and also that the swimming pool could be a bit cleaner and is looking a bit tired, although the hotel has responded to this on more than one occasion, saying that this is just a build-up of suntan cream and oil, which they do their best to remove on a daily basis. Other guests say that the hotel do not always enforce the no reserving of sunbeds rule as well as they could, and that the drinks inside the hotel are a bit on the pricey side. I hope you enjoyed this full information vlog on the 4 star hotel Awa Athul with me today and if you did I would ask that you please consider checking out some of my other videos which show many other accommodation options in Benidorm as well as taking you on street walks and bringing you lots of local news, updates and reviews on cafes, bars and just about anything else I can think of. Thanks so much for watching as always and I hope you'll join me next time when I'm out and about pounding the streets of Benidorm. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. That's all for now folks, adios, goodbye and ciao for now.